Hey YouTube, what is up? I am Mike. Thank you for watching. All right, so Burger Kill. I checked out one of their songs uh, yesterday, earlier today. Really interesting, and I can already tell that this band has changed a lot from 16 years ago to today. It appears that this song is in English, uh, from what I can tell by Google so far. haven't listened to anything, but I have gone down through here and looked at what I'm about to see, and I am super excited because they are playing with an actual orchestra, which the whole, you know, Kilkers... Kil... Kilkers... Kil... Kilkers... Kilkestra. Yeah. Burger Kill. Orchestra. Kilkestra. Got it. All right. So this is uh, an elegy, uh, which obviously means this is about someone who has passed away. I did actually find a little bit, a much more impression uh, on the internet just of this song, the, the lyrics and the existence of it. I'm really excited to hear this just to see where they went from 16 years ago. I love symphonies and classical music. I haven't had the opportunity to do anything quite like that. I've tried a few times to write something like that, and it's just not, uh, it's, it's just not in my nature, and it, it's just so gorgeous. And I also love metal, and I know that this is, this is going to be cool. So one thing I can't tell yet from this video, I'm not sure if they're in the same room as the uh, symphony. They're probably not because that would make for a wiser recording decision since this isn't like a live performance. This is a studio recording would definitely make more sense because clearly the drums would bleed so much into the overhead mics of the orchestra. This is beautiful, and I'm also pretty delighted because, I don't know, there's still a whole lot of time here. Things could change dramatically, and I see a whole bunch of most replayed moments, so who knows. But, like, so far, like, I was almost expecting a huge change in their style from what I heard 
uh, in the previous song from 16 years ago. And this is not a huge change from what I'm hearing so far. This is an evolution and I love it. It sounds great. I can feel your eyes are watching, but I can hold my head up high. Wow, so I don't know anything about this song, if this is like the original version of it. Was this the first time this was performed, recorded, or w was this a remake of something that they had done previously without the Kil Kilchestra? Um, it's... I really like this. <laughs> God, this is, this is wonderful. I absolutely love this. I wish there was way more music like this because it's the orchestration that you get between an orchestra and a kick-ass rock band. They're not quite metal. They're, they're, they're on that, they're on that borderline, man. I love it. I love it. I, and then this song sounds like this was written specifically to be this I, I that might be wrong i don't know but it it's it's just so fulfilling i to see a room full of musicians real musicians just with actual strings and horns and you know you don't you don't see horns and modern heavy rock and metal music and to see it done i just love it i mean you know they're not the first i mean obviously metallica did the s m thing but this is levels above that in my opinion and i'm a metallica fan uh have been since 1988 
and I enjoyed that record. And I want to listen to this whole record, which is driving me nuts because I'm going to probably want to react to more from this. I don't know. Maybe this was just a one-off thing that they did for, for this song. I'm not sure what the, the whole story behind this is. I love this. This is great. I'm sorry, is it cold in the studio? Because <laughs> I can't imagine playing in all these clothes. This drummer is just like bundled up like he's ready for, uh, you know, to go out in the Arctic tundra. <laughs> I can't imagine playing like that. absolutely loved it i am have (laughs) the way that band has grown since the other video that i watched um that's exactly the evolution i was hoping for to be honest with you because like i there was part of me there was part of me that wanted them to just get like crazy fucking heavy uh but they clearly write some good stuff, and that is partially too. I'm going to mention it again. The band that I was in, Six Sigma, that their early stuff, we sounded a lot like that, and I think we would have kind of evolved if given this opportunity to do something like that, because uh, there was just some great writers in that band, and. Uh, some great writers in this band. I'm curious. I'm going to have to do some digging if I can find it. There's just so really limited information on this band from what I can find in the U S on Google. It's just, this one was better than the last one, but still just, it's like they almost don't exist here. And uh, like I mentioned in the last video, they are, or they just recently toured. I mean, just straight, straight up dive bars the kind of the, the kind of bars that uh, you know I played 20 years ago and wouldn't take a gig in now because they don't pay anything but I'm also not doing original music now if I was doing original music I would definitely be playing in those bars cuz that's where you see the up and coming you know badass rock music these guys are great I can see why you all uh recommended them so much I'm definitely going to be doing some more of their tunes. So if you liked uh, my reaction, remember to like and subscribe. My name is Mike, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.